Writing St. Lucian Creole is a lot easier than most people think. You only need to pay attention for a few minutes to a few rules and guidelines, then with plenty of practice, you will be well on your way to becoming an expert. This writing system used in St. Lucia and Dominica is slightly different from that used in other countries like Guadeloupe and Martinique. Here are some general guidelines before we begin. Many of the quail consonants are pronounced exactly the same as in English. The letter R is not generally used except in certain words borrowed from the English language. For example, radio, record, stress. The letters Q and X are never used and the letters C and U never appear alone. They always appear as part of the digraphs CH pronounced SH and OU pronounced U. There is only one way to write each sound in Creole. Unlike English, where one sound, for example, K, can be spelled several different ways. K, choir, K, kitten, K, cup, K, quiet. In Creole, only the letter K is used. There are no silent letters or unnecessary letters. For example, in the French language, the word but, may, is spelled M-A-I-S. In Creole, it is simply M-E with an accent. Neither are there any double letters. For example, in French, the word speed, vitesse, is spelled with a double S. In Creole, it is V-I-T-E-S. The extra S serves no purpose. There is one exception to this rule, and that is with reference to double N. More about this later. There are eight different vowels or vowel digraphs which you should learn. The first five are simple enough to remember. A is similar to what you learned in kindergarten. A is for apple. A is pronounced A. I is for igloo. I is always pronounced as E. O is pronounced exactly the same, O. OU is pronounced U. And AY is pronounced I, as in nice. If you were to pronounce each letter separately, A, which is A, plus Y, Y, and combine them, you would get the sound I, I. The next three vowel sounds are a bit trickier, and the sooner you master them, the quicker you will be able to write Creole. It is important to master those sounds not only because they may be the most unfamiliar to you, but also because they appear very frequently in a lot of words. The letter E with an acute accent is pronounced A, as in Abraham. Here are a few examples of Creole words containing the A sound. Tewe, to bury. Lave, to wash. Kase, to break. When the letter E has a grave accent, it is pronounced E, as in echo. Here are a few examples of Creole words with the E sound. Bwe, to drink. Ve, glass or green. Bopé, father-in-law. The letter O with a grave accent is pronounced O, as in orange. Here are a few examples of Creole words with the O sound. Mo, to die. Popot. A doll. Dako. To agree. And now it is time for your first exercise, which combines all the vowel sounds that we have just covered. See how quickly you can spell the following words. You would make fewer mistakes if you make it a habit to break each word down into syllables before attempting to spell it. You may want to pause the video after each word. Number one. To close, fermé, fermé. 
Number two. Outside. There were. There were. Number three. To climb. Mute. Mute. Number four. To bite. Morde. Morde. Number five. Color. Coule. Coule. Number six. Work. Travail. Travail. Number seven. Insane or mad. Fou. Fou. Number eight. A piece. Morceau. Morceau. Number nine. To rub. Forte. Forte. Number ten. Boy. Tiboy. Tiboy. Here is the correct spelling of the words. Take some time to review any sounds which you may have gotten wrong. There are three nasal sounds in Creole. A-N pronounced un as in money. O-N pronounced on as in sonny. And E-N pronounced en as in Jenny. Some people find it difficult to differentiate between the nasal sound en and e with the grave accent e. If you were to say en while pinching your nostrils, you would feel a vibration in the nasal cavities. This does not happen when you say e. It is important to be able to differentiate between the two sounds as this will influence your spelling. Remember, Creole is written exactly as it sounds. Practice saying those two words, la main, hand, and la main, the sea. La main, la main. Exercise 2. Write the following words correctly. Remember to first break each word down into syllables. Number one, to like, aimer, aimer. Number two, morning, bon matin, bon matin. Number three, to bathe, baigner, baigner. Number four, mango. Mago. Mago. Number five. Drum. Tambou. Tambou. Number six. To paint. Pentiwe. Pentiwe. Number seven. Begin. Kumase. Kumase. Number eight, uncle, tonton, tonton. Number nine, church, la messe, la messe. Number ten, inside, un didin, un didin. Once again, take some time to review any words that you may have gotten wrong before going on to the next section. Earlier on, we mentioned that the only time double letters are found in Creole is with the letter N. This happens when the N sound is preceded by a nasal sound. For example, mene, to bring, me, nasal sound, plus ne, mene resulting in two ends. Here are some other examples. Banana, ba, 
plus na plus n banana nenen ne plus ne plus n nenen sonne son plus ne sonne In this segment, we will take a look at four more sounds with which you need to familiarize yourself. The first is CH, which is pronounced SH. For example, chanter, to sing, marcher, to walk, and wash, stone. The next sound is TJ, pronounced as in church. Some Creole words with this sound include che, heart, and piche, to prick or stab. The third sound is dj, a harder sound which is articulated in the throat. It is pronounced j, as in George. Some examples of Creole words with the dj sound include Jab, devil, fijai, face. The letter J in Creole has a soft sound and is pronounced J, as in the word closure. For example, jete, to throw, manger, to eat. Take some time to internalize the differences in pronunciation among the four sounds before proceeding to the next exercise. CH, SH, TJ, CH, DJ, J, and J, J. Exercise 3. Listen carefully to the following words. Remember to break each word down into syllables before attempting to spell it. Number one. To hold. Chebe. Chebe. Number two. To change. Changer. Changer. Number three. To let go. Lager. La J. Number four. To cure. J. Oui. J. Oui. Number five. To swim. Nager. Nager. Number six. To rip. To tear. Deshiwe. Deshiwe. Here is the correct spelling. How many did you get correct? The hyphen is used to indicate the definite article, the. For example, tifia, the girl, tabla, the table. Nomla, the man. The apostrophe is used when writing contractions. For example, manger. Manger is really two words contracted into one. Manger plus li. Manger li. But in Creole, we say manger. Another example is cow, yourself. Again, two words contracted together, ko plus u, but we say ko. Let's look at two more examples. Ma, mwen plus pa, mwen pa. For example, ma mele, mwen pa mele, contracted to ma mele. Also, na, mwen plus ka, mwen ka, but in Creole we say na, for example, 
na ale. I am going. As your final assessment, you will now write the following two sentences in Creole. Remember to break down the words into syllables before attempting to write them and pause the video after each sentence to allow yourself adequate time to think. Good luck! Sentence number one. Mwen an tou yon kay la, ek mwen wè chien ka von mi. Mwen an tou yon kay la, ek mwen wè chien ka von mi. Sentence number two. Patre ko, dokte a kay mene on si men po chien pou fey. Patre ko, dokte a kay mene on si men po chien pou fey. Sentence number three. 